Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, November 8th. I always get the days mixed up. <laughs> but um, today I was going to do a No Catchy Name episode, but I realized I didn't have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. So I'm going to wait a few more days to uh, get some things finished, and then I will do one then. But I wanted to share some Happy Mail because I had a whole bunch of it today. And I got one the other day that I wanted to share so that the people who sent it knows that I did get it. And uh, it's fun to share. So first, uh, the other day I got a package from Doris. And she sent me some fabric. So here's a big old, big piece of fabric. It's pretty, it looks like a, like a painting or something. Like, that's what it looks like to me. Like, you know, paint. Well, whatever. <laughs> and also this one. Oh, Lord, it's blown out. Whoops, and I dropped it. But it's just a pretty... Um, print <laughs> I'm not good at explaining things so yeah so today I did get quite a few little happy mails I wasn't expecting to get this much stuff but this next one is an envelope and it just has their last name on it so I'm not going to mention like I'm not going to say their last name because I know people want to stay private <clears throat> the envelope's a little banged up <laughs> but it made it and inside was this this little envelope it's like Christmassy and inside that <laughs> Is some stitch markers and a label. Now they didn't sign it, so I'm not sure who the first person, the first name is, but I got their last name. So there's this little tag that is a, um, it's like a leather sew-on tag, and it says "crafted for you." Put that back in there so I don't use it. And then there's stitch marker scissors, and then there's a cute sewing machine. And then there are two. Get them in there. These little like breasts. They look like tree trunks to me. <laughs> like the inside of a tree trunk. So thank you for that, whoever you are. <laughs> I'm not sure who you are, but uh, it just says Happy Mail with my address on it. And it's got their last name. So thank you. Put it back in there. Alright, and then I also got a card, a Thanksgiving card. This is my first Thanksgiving card. I think I got a couple of these last year. But this is from, I always, I'm afraid I'm going to pronounce people's names wrong. But I think it's Mirren. I think is how you say it. But I'm sorry if that's not right. <laughs> but I got a Thanksgiving card. It's a happy Thanksgiving. It's got a uh, cornucopia on it. And a nice little note in there. So thank you so much for that. A cute little envelope. It's like a gold colored envelope. <laughs> Alright, they'll see here. And then this is a Christmas card. I was so excited about this. I'm so excited. I have a ton of Christmas cards ready to go. They're filled out, already signed, got stamps on them, everything. I was just waiting until a little bit further into November until I drop them in the mail. Because uh, I don't want to weird anybody out by doing it super early. But I got one early, so I guess that means I can go ahead and mail those. I've got um, about 40 something that's ready to go. And then I got a, I ran out of my address label, so I have to print off some more uh, to do the rest of them. And then I got to get some international stamps. Because there's a few, uh, there's, I got, right now I got like five or six that's going to be going to like Canada and Australia and stuff. Alright, so this one is from Judy. And she's got her uh, handle down here. It's Life in Janie's Crochet World. But it's a Christmas card. It's got a Santa and a snowman on it. It's got some like bling on it, like foil. And she also sent me an ornament. It's a cute little sweater. She left this so that I could adjust it, she said. The uh, the hanger, which is awesome. So I'll be putting that on my tree with a lot of these, a lot of these other ones were gifted to me. Actually, that's backwards. <laughs> Jesse hung that up. I have to fix that. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I don't know if you can see that one. Most of the crochet ones on here were gifted to me. This one over here. I did make this one in that stocking, and I also made this little gnome. <laughs> but most of the crocheted uh, ornaments on my tree and this sewn one right here uh, were gifted to me last year, and some the year before that. So this one will be joining on there. I will label it though, so that I know who sent it. But I'm so excited about my first Christmas card. Well, it's not technically my first. I already got one in a package, but that's like the first for November. All right, next package. Letter in there. Where'd it go? This one is from Deb. And she, I mentioned the other day how I accidentally messed up one of my sewn bow cozies. 
and they are meant for the microwave. I know a few people said that they're not meant for the microwave, but the ones that I bought were specifically made for microwaves. Uh, if you make it with 100% cotton fabric, thread, and batting, they are microwavable. I think the only reason that one burnt a little is because of the container that those stupid chocolate melts were in. Uh, started burning and then it just burnt because it was there, you know, because I've never I've had those for Since 2019 and never had an issue with them and we use them in the microwave all the time And I've been using that same one since uh, without any issues because I always put like my soup and stuff in there Anyways, all that to say <laughs> Deb wrote me a note, but she also said that she made me a bow cozy. So this is a cotton crochet one So it's a nice little bow cozy It's made with green and orange so thank you for that. I would definitely use that. I do eat a lot of soup. <laughs> I love uh, chicken noodle soup. Uh, usually if I don't feel good or if I'm nauseous or anything, uh, that's what I would pick to eat uh, so that I don't get sick, you know, eating something that's not soupy. I don't know. I don't know if it makes any sense. It's just a comfort food for me. So I will be using this. And I got some bowls that are actually this shape, so this should work perfectly for that. So thank you so much for the bowl cozy. Put that up there. All right, this is the last package I got from a person. This The last, last one. It's just Amazon package that I ordered, <laughs> but it's here, so I might as well show it to you. But this one, open it up. this one is so cute. It came with an ornament too. This one is from Miram, uh, uh, Mir Mirin again. The same, pretty sure it's the same one. Let me check the address. Yes, okay, I had to, I wanted to make sure it was too. It's the same one who sent this card. In there. She's seen this shirt at Target and thought of Jesse, which is perfect, and it is perfect Jesse shirt. And she said that it is big for him now, but he'll probably be able to wear it next year because he's he's kind of a husky kid. <laughs> so I'm sure by the time it's t-shirt weather again, he'll be able to wear this. So he's gonna love this when he sees it. He's at school right now. But it says types of lizards, and it's got a bunch of lizards on it. Jesse loves reptiles and uh, bugs and all kinds of gross things. <laughs> so I'm sure he will love this shirt. And the colors are nice too. This is like a really bright orange and yellow and stuff. But yeah, so I will definitely put that in his closet. And he will uh, get use out of it next year for sure. I'm sure. Now, it was also wrapped in this really pretty tissue paper. <laughs> but along with that, let me put her note up here so I don't lose it. She made a Christmas ornament. <laughs> so I was excited again. So here's hers. It's an acorn. It's so cute. It looks so cute. <laughs> so again, I got to label it who it was. Because see, like, right there's some labels see it <laughs> I don't know if I have any more of those I have to dig around but I might just you know anything label them and uh, it's just a cute little like amigurumi top ragdoll acorn <laughs> so that's gonna be so cute on my tree as well so thank you so much for that as well Marin I always feel like I'm saying that wrong I did want to say Miriam but I know it's not that all right and then the only other things that I got today in the mail was some stuff that I ordered for my bags I ordered some more zippers because I go through zippers super fast with making project bags and notion pouches and then i ordered mailers that's it <laughs> this is a mailer full of mailers that's not exciting but it's needed <laughs> but i appreciate so much my ornaments and my bow cozy and my cards and jesse's little shirt uh he's gonna love that i'm gonna show it to him today he might want to wear it but it's gonna be big on him because <laughs> it's a size 10 12 yeah that'll be big on him <laughs> he he's right now he's in like a size uh seven eight because he's he's husky <laughs> and um but i'm sure he'll be able to wear that next spring that'll fit on my bed so, but thank you guys for everything that you send it's never necessary but it's always appreciated i'm so excited about my christmas card i gotta get that other one i can't remember where i put it but i gotta get it so i can hang it up and then hang this up and then i guess i'll send out start sending out my cards i just gotta print some more labels because i forgot to do that I don't think I have that paper. I have to go to Walmart and buy some more of that label paper and then print out labels. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to hop off here. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Um, I'm hoping to do a special video tomorrow, but it depends on if it comes in the mail. If it doesn't come in the mail, I'll have to do something else. <laughs> but uh, sometime this week, there will be a really fun video coming out that I'm super excited about. And uh, there will be a Whip Wednesday video, hopefully, <laughs> assuming I don't uh, start feeling bad. I'm still feeling pretty good today. A little sore, but it's because I struggled getting a car seat in the car. <laughs> I went to Walmart to pick up uh, a car seat that we ordered for June, and I couldn't get it in the car in the box. So I ended up having to take it out of the box and then tear the box down and put it in the car, and it was a hassle. And um, I probably should have waited until Devin was with me, but I'm stubborn, and I did it myself. But anyways, it's at my mom's house. We're going to leave it there until we need it. 
uh because we don't have anywhere to store that big old box here but uh yeah i also got her a pack and play she'll probably sleep in that while she's little because it's got the bassinet on it um uh, because that'll just be easier in the bedroom having that in there and i picked up some groceries then i ran to my mom's to drop that stuff off there so that uh it's on the way here Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, so I got videos planned for this week. I just don't know if I'm going to get them out. There's also going to be a bag update later this week. I'm hoping to get it done on Wednesday. I'll announce it tomorrow, Tuesday for sure, if I get the bags done. They're almost done. But I want to make sure they're done first before I, um, you know, put them up. Obviously, because I can't take pictures of them when they're not done. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping that'll be Wednesday. So today's 8th, not, so that's the 10th, right? November 10th at like 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. It'll be drawstring bag sets. The next shop update, I wasn't planning on quilting anymore this year, <laughs> but um, I was thinking about it because I, I wanted to make some of those cute little totes with the little handles, you know, just the little handles, not the big ones. Uh, and then I actually had someone ask about that. So uh, I might make some of those. I don't know, I have all the supplies for it, so I just now, now I need to see if I have the energy <laughs> but um i'm hoping to get after this next one i'm hoping to get two more updates before december like the the next two might be going into december a little bit but i don't usually sew after like the second week of december because it's christmas time and i want to spend it with my family so and then i don't know how it's going to go after december because i'm going to be super pregnant in january and possibly have a baby <laughs> in january uh, in February so it might take me a little while to start making bags again after the new year so I don't know <laughs> I'll have to wait and see <laughs> but I'm gonna hop off here now because I'm blab 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 blabbing at this point and I'm gonna put up all my happy meal I need to label my ornaments so I can put them up and I need to deal with all the packaging and stuff and then I'm gonna see you guys in another video <laughs> bye guys